to Ode, center point, over to Ford, one-timer, he scores! It's tipped in by Owen McDean! High slot, Stubbs out to the near wing, Owen McDean, he scores! McDean roofs it on the power play, Stubbs denied, rebound chance, scored! It's the second power play goal of the night for Owen McDean! Shot from the far side, point got tipped along and scored! It is Owen McDade that flicked it beyond Perone. Out up Biker Duckett, he'll spring to Carlo down the right wing side. To Carlo, back across the way, Ronald scores! At the far post, it's Owen McDade that opens the score. one nothing dogs, 14.51 to go in the first. McDade will take the offensive zone draw for Ronald. He's able to win it, get back to it himself, and he scores! Across the Huntsville blue line. Out to the far side wing. All alone, back in and shot scored! It's Owen McDade with the beautiful tuck. McDade and Villion across the Huntsville blue line. McDade has the shot and he scores! Hat trick for Owen McDade and the Dogs lead 6-2. We're here with Rail Yard Dogs Ford, number 72, Owen McDade. Owen, you guys had a target on your back all year this year. This group had come back as defending champions, but you still have a lot of major accomplishments in this regular season. You finish in third place, 33 wins, another franchise record, and 74 standings points. Now that you've had some time to kind of decompress and get some rest from the end of that Huntsville series, what are some of your takeaways on this season here with your first year at the Rail Yard Dogs? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the regular season has to be looked at as a success. You know, like you said, we finished third place, um, set a franchise record in points, and I think we, we did a good job of, of staying consistent for most of the season, even with a lot of bodies in and out. Um, but, I mean, when you, when you lose in the playoffs, you're, you're always going to be disappointed, um, especially with a group that, that won last year, and a lot of the guys, um, you know, I mean, all, all the guys in the team hungry to repeat, but a lot of a lot of guys uh, having been there before, I think it was disappointing to at least not get back to the finals um, and then and then see what we can do from there. But, you know, in, in saying that, we, we did have a good regular season and, and, and something we should be proud of. It's rare, I think, in any sport, but especially at the minor league level, to have someone that comes into a team, into a league, brand new, and on a team too with such an established core, and you became one of the leaders for this team. Becoming an alternate captain for them down the stretch, what are your thoughts on just kind of earning that trust from your teammates and how did you try to approach your role as a leader on the team this season? Yeah, I think, you know, anytime you come to a new team, um, you just want to learn as much as you can right from the start. Um, you know, just just be kind of like a fly on the wall in the room. Um, I think, you know, I tried to approach every day just with the same attitude, try and work hard every practice. Um, and, and earn my stripes in games and I think you know guys saw that um, and saw how much you know effort and uh, and time that I that I did put in um, and you know we, we had a good group here too like everybody was really welcoming um, and that just kind of made it easy to, to transition to a new team um, and I think it's you know you, you're in the respect of your teammates just by by trying to bring it every day and be consistent in that. You had an excellent first season here in the SPHL. You finished second on the team in goals in the regular season, and I think you've proved that you're a legitimate all-around centerman in this league. What do you think was kind of the key in finding your stride out there on the ice this season with the Rail Yard Dogs? Yeah, I, I think you know it was definitely an adjustment for me um, coming back to play in North America after being overseas for a few seasons. But I think it was just trying to buy into dogs hockey, you know, uh, trying to buy into what Brems was was preaching, and I think I, I really found a lot of success. Uh, around Christmas when I just started driving the paint um, and, and trying to score greasy goals. I often had my stick in the garbage uh, before the game and that was just a mindset thing about trying to crash the crease and, and be hard uh, around the other team's net and, and our net too. Um, and I think just, just trying to be, you talk about two-way game, I think just trying to be responsible in our end too. Um, that, that led to more confidence and more ice time from Brems and then, and then I was able to, to start scoring more goals. You all had a really great year, even though I know you guys had bigger expectations or a bigger goal at the end. You always want to win that last game. But I think it goes to show it's hard in any league to, to repeat and to get to the end again, much less to make the final for a third straight year. How do you think this experience for this group throughout the regular season and the playoffs can help you guys come back stronger in the fall when you look at the 24-25 season? Yeah, I, I think, you know, Anytime you lose, whether it's in the finals or in the first round, you're, you're always hungry for that championship. 
Um, and I, you know, who, who knows what the team's going to look like next year at this point. But I think it, it just leaves a, a bitter taste in your in your mouth. You know, you, you think about you know what could I have done in this play? What could I have done in this play? Especially in in the game three, you know, where there there was some chances uh, both ways and. I think it just it makes you hungrier for, for the next year to, to come back and, and have a better season. So now the season has come to a close. I know you've got a little bit of time left here in Roanoke, but what does this summer look like for Owen McDade once you're kind of cut loose and, and ready to go wherever? Yeah, um, I'm going to be in Ottawa. I took a job uh, with a company called Apex Skating, and I'm going to be doing skills coaching for, uh, for kids in Ottawa. Um, they, they work with teams, or I'll, I'll be working with teams and, and individual groups. So even though uh, the season's done, I'm still still going to be on the ice a lot. Yeah. Well, Owen, I just want to leave it open-ended to you here for one last question. Do you have anything you'd like to say to any of the fans or your friends and family that are watching now this season has come to a close? Yeah, no, I, I'd, I'd like to thank the fans. I, I think I've said it a few times throughout the year, but we, we definitely have the best fans um, in the league. Our, our rink is, is definitely the loudest rink in the league and, and even you know when you're out in, in Roanoke in the city you have people coming up to you saying oh great season good job good luck um, so so definitely thank the fans my teammates too um, it was it was a great group we had this year um, and I, I definitely enjoyed my time in Roanoke well Owen thank you so much for your time man best of luck to you thanks Mitch